Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm your host, Corey Nockreiner. Today, I'm keeping it light with my review of CSI Cyber. If you're in the US, you might have noticed last night, CSI Cyber premiered. And this, of course, is the spin-off of Crime Scene Investigation, or CSI, that concentrates on information and network security. And to be honest, as an information security professional, I'm kind of excited whenever my industry gets more mass appeal and public attention. So movies like Black Hat and CSI Cyber are kind of exciting ideas to me. On the flip side, I was never really expecting much from CSI Cyber. In any case, if you want my really quick unfiltered review, here it is. Oh my god. Seriously though, the show's not that good. I don't recommend it. Well, it does have seeds of truth, you know. You can tell there's researchers that have tried to look into to some real world cyber incidents. It doesn't ring authentic, you know. The bad guy's motivations are off. It's way too melodramatic. So let's start with just the premise of this show. Essentially, a uh, bad guy has hijacked a webcam in a baby's room. This really comes out of the headlines, you know. These IP-based webcams, as I've talked about in this, this podcast, Podcast are vulnerable to attacks and there was an incident where pranksters were yelling at a baby but in this case the motivation of the attackers using this technique were to kidnap babies and to sell them off to the highest bidder that's not what webcam attacks are going to be used for you know most people that are going after webcams are pranksters joking around and or people that are actually doing something gross trying to catch people in in confidential or sensitive moments so I, I the whole idea of people getting killed and kidnapping babies because of of unsecured webcams is really taking the FUD or the fear, uncertainty, doubt, and paranoia way too far. You know, I, I'll give them credit for trying to use the right terms. They talk about rats as remote access trojans, and yet the way they actually use the term throughout the show becomes kind of uh, inauthentic. It's not the way real experts would use it. Granted, I do know to make this entertainment, you need to make it more interesting. You know, real hacking can be boring. If I'm a analyst trying to find out if something's malware and I'm doing a, a black box analysis using an assembler, the type, type of stuff I'm looking at is pretty boring. So I get where sometimes they'll have to show fancy source code that's colored differently to make it look exciting to the, the non-technical viewer. On the flip side, what I don't like is them giving the general consumer the wrong idea about the level of severity for different threats. Webcam vulnerabilities are a big deal and you probably should be slightly aware of them for your privacy, but they won't result in kidnap babies. There are probably cyber attacks that can have physical repercussions, but I'm beginning to think this show is probably going to show every single cyber attack turning into death. I could vent on and on about how I don't like how cliche this show is, how it uses the overweight bearded white hat hacker, the hair colored trendy nerdy hacker, and the, the bad guy trying to go good hacker. But really, it's, it's not worth it. When it comes down to it, even if all the cyber security is bad, if the show is at least entertaining, that would be fun. But honestly, I found this way too over melodramatic, bad acting, bad writing, and I'm just a little disappointed. But the biggest problem, again, is the fact that people watching this show, if they think this is the reality of cyber attacks, the real threat that they have to worry about, that's too bad. What this show showed does not reflect reality at all. And yet there are some very dangerous threats out there that could result in you having financial losses and privacy losses that would have an impact on your life. It's too bad they didn't show those type of attacks, at least not in this particular show. Now, while I'm talking about cybersecurity and pop culture, if you do want to see a show that has great portrayals of some of the threat actors out there, I actually recommend you check out House of Cards. House of Cards is not a show about information security. It's about uh, political intrigue and corruption. And yet they have a big thread on a particular cyber attacker. In fact, a previous black hat that's been forced or coerced into working for the FBI. And I actually find the subtle nuance to this particular character and some of the techniques he used like most recently in the season three using social engineering to actually get information as much more true to life to what 
information security and, and malicious attackers are all about. So if you want a better portrayal of cybersecurity on TV, or at least on Netflix, check out House of Cards. Anyways, no real practical advice in this particular video post, other than maybe if you want to save an hour of your life, I recommend you avoid CSI Cyber. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Thank <laughs> you.